wow, that just never gets old. I can watch that all day. Anyway, hello everyone, Gary here from RC Street Wars and GK Systems Engineering, and we're officially kicking off our battery test comparison series. So we're gonna take a moment and go into the test procedure, what we're gonna be testing, how we're gonna be testing it. We've come up with a very detailed plan to make everything as fair as possible, repeatable, and we're gonna give you guys the results. Look for the results to be posted on our webpage at rcstreetwars.com. You're gonna look for the battery test section. A link to the full video where we're gonna go over all the details of the test procedure will be in the comments, and we're excited to start this journey with you. Let's go fast, everyone. We're gonna take a few minutes, go over what we're planning for this series, how we're gonna be testing the batteries and what you guys should be expecting. So it's probably no secret already that we've acquired this dyno. We're gonna be putting together a series of tests that benefit the RC community. And we thought we'd start with testing batteries. It seems to be the thing that generates the most controversy in the RC community. How good is it? Does the C rating make a difference? We're gonna go into that. We're gonna expose every detail. So let me start by telling you what we're planning and how it's gonna benefit you. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna compare batteries by price. So every battery, we purchase it, we purchase it directly. We're gonna have the price that we paid, the street price for the battery. Then we're going to weigh the battery. So this way we know how much does this battery weigh? At that point, we are going to charge each battery at one C. So no matter what the capacity of the battery is, it will be charged at one times the capacity. So if this is a 5,000 milliamp, it's going to be charged at five amps. If it's a 6,500 milliamp, it'll be charged at 6.5 amps, okay? Once the battery is fully charged, within 60 seconds, we're going to take it off the charger and run it through the test. Now, the dyno here, as we explained earlier, is going to put out a whole bunch of numbers. The numbers are gonna be maximum power, wattage, and we're going to have a power factor that's going to show us how much power and how many amps are we sustaining through the duration of the run. We're also going to have several different tests, a 100 amp, 250, 450, and a maximum load test. Now we've already tested a lot of batteries. Not every one of them survives the max test, but we're gonna show you which ones do. So at that point, we are going to do, we have this ESR meter, we're going to do a ESR test. This is gonna give us the internal resistance of the battery. This is a very, very important metric because it's going to basically determine how efficient the battery is at discharging its current, all right? From then, we're going to fully discharge the battery. I'm gonna turn the camera around, show you the discharger, but what we wanna do is make sure that the capacity written on the battery, you're at least getting, if it says 5200, I wanna make sure we're at least getting 5200. I'm gonna tell you, there's some surprises here. Some are under, some are over. Stay tuned for the results. At that point, we're gonna compile all the data. It's all gonna be posted on our website at rcstreetwars.com, and it's gonna give you a very, very easy to follow metric of dollar amount, performance, and on top of that, performance per gram of battery, okay? This is very, very important because a battery can put out a certain amount of power. Power is watts, right? Watts is voltage times amperage. But if the it does it at a very high weight, our performance per gram is actually very low. Remember, these vehicles have to carry the battery around, all right? So, as they carry the battery around, that's just the load that they have to account for. So one of the important metrics that we're going to determine is how powerful is this battery per gram? And then we're gonna let you guys make a decision on what's right for you, okay? So let me turn the camera around, show you the discharger, and then we'll wrap up and then stay tuned because we're going straight into testing. And I think you guys are gonna be really, really surprised with the results. 
All right, everyone. So this is our battery discharge tester. This is a very, very serious unit. I promise you have not seen anything like this, but it hooks up to our PC. We get a whole bunch of data from this thing, but we can fully discharge the battery and then give you an accurate account of how much milliamp hours is in the battery. So we know what the true capacity of the battery is. Okay. Again, this is our dedication to the sport and this hobby. We want to be able to bring you the very best in information and the most accurate information. And we've made the investment in all the equipment and the time to do it for you. Okay, so to just give you a final wrap up on the test procedure, we have taken a lot of steps to ensure impartiality and fairness across the test. Number one, every battery will be held at a SAE standard of 75 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 hours before we charge it. We are going to have the battery at 75 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna go straight into a full charge just the way it comes out of the box. We're going to test it on the dyno. We're going to recharge the battery. We're gonna do the ESR test for the internal resistance. And then we're gonna put it on the discharger and see exactly how many milliamps is in it. The other thing, every single battery, regardless of the wire on the battery, is going to use one of these connectors, QS8. Every single battery will use a QS8. And it's gonna plug into the QS8 on the dynamometer. So there's no impartiality between connectors. Yes, some of these batteries are gonna come with different connectors from the factory. We are going to remove those connectors and every one of them is gonna get this connector here. So it's fair across the board. Again, if you purchase these batteries on your own, it's gonna have its own connector. You're gonna have your choice of putting your own connector on. But for the sake of apples to apples testing, every single battery, regardless of the wire size, is gonna have the exact same connector. So we've taken a lot of steps to ensure that our testing is gonna be fair, impartial, and give you guys the absolute best, most reliable data out there. Every single test criteria has been carefully thought out and we've researched in industry standards and practices in the test and the procedure that we're gonna follow is directly in line with practices that are being used today across various different industry that deals with electronics and just testing in general. So again, we're really excited about this. We hope you guys stay tuned for the journey and let's go fast everyone.